Please welcome to the stage. You love him on Queer Eye. He's the only person America trusts to look at their disgusting futon and tell them they're still worthy of love. Please welcome to the stage Bobby Burke. And he's got a dog. <laughs> oh, yeah, there. It's going to be fine. She's protecting me. <laughs> oh, but You guys were friends in the green room. This is great. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Come here, Pundit. Come on out. Come on, quick, quick, Pundit. We're running late. Jesus Christ, Pundit. Come on. It's okay, baby. <laughs> uh, <come laughs> Sorry. Here. I'm like, oh, they were friends. I'll just bring her out. Okay. She's, okay. She's fine. You're good. Yeah. Hi. Hi, Bobby. Thank you for being here. Hi. Thank you for having me. Come on. Two dogs. What a dream. Uh, your book is called Right at Home, How Design is Good for the Mind. What is the number one mistake people make uh, that makes them slowly lose their minds? Uh, you know what? I think worrying about what everybody else thinks about their house, worrying about what magazines tell them, worry about what I tell them. Your home should be a space that makes you happy and helps you recharge. So the biggest mistake is worrying about what other people think. Just by looking at me, what mistake do you think I'm making in my home? Um, do you live here? <laughs> <laughs> no. You're like, kind of? Yeah. I, what do you think of my home? Uh, I, I love it. It seems a little cold to live in. But well, no. I'll tell you something. They were like, we think there's too many screens. And I was like, never. Mm, there's never too many screens. I think we can get a couple more screens in here. <laughs> then it'll really feel I think cozy. I for another one right above that one, yeah, actually. Yeah, why not? And, but why you know not? what? Because if you love screens, <gasps> put them up. Hey, what do this you- This is your house. This is my house. <laughs> hey, wh why did everything become beige? And then do you think that's done? Do people know Blue exists? Well, I mean, I know Blue exists. If you've seen my show at all, I love, I love using Blue. And I mean, look at my eyes. So Blue oh. exists. And your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Why is everyone looking into my eyes tonight? <laughs> but but there, had, there was this trend where like color was sort of su sucked out of a- I the, feel like the, we're kind of still there. What, why? I, I, I mean, I, th I don't know. Why are all the cars gray? I, I, that's or black a, or white. I'm not in the automobile industry. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. But if it's a rental car, it is probably gray. Right. <laughs> um, I think that maybe I don't know. It's a safe choice. Yeah. Well, what happened to us? Um, what happened we got to being, boring. We got boring. We got boring. My car is green. My car is blue. <laughs> yeah. I have a blue yeah. car. We have color. <laughs> it's actually the first car of co the first car that I've got that was. <laughs> <laughs> Look, yes, we, we all caught what you almost said, which you have a path-breaking car of color. <laughs> and you caught it, but it was too good. And then I was... <laughs> you weren't never sure. Mind. Like, was that, never, okay. never mind, never um, mind. Never. <laughs> so, I do think there's now like... That, my face is a bright red color. No, it's good. It's good. No, it's good. Where are you going? Where now, going? Bobby, you're going to help us make a final ruling on popular interior design okay, trends. Perfect. We're going to show you a design trend, and you will deem it innocent or guilty. Okay. All right. Are you ready? Oh, I want to be a, and a, there's a chief justice. What are they called? The Supreme Court. They're yeah, they're called the Supreme that. Court, and that's you in the center there. Uh, yes, applaud that. Sure. All right. <laughs> innocent or guilty, Edison bulbs. Guilty. It's done. It's over. No it's more. Done. It's done. It it's, too, it's too warm. I like a warm light, but it's too warm. It's like almost not light light. What do you do? What, what's going to replace them? A brighter bulb. <laughs> do you think, wait, is what makes it an Edison bulb the fact that it's orange or the fact that it is no, see-through and the, you see the, 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 the filament? No, it's the shape and you see the filament because it looks like an original bulb created by Thomas, Thomas Edison. Edison yeah. Who famously. Who famously. And back then, back like, that then, was the only bulb. So and it was fine. a big deal. He was a People big were like, that deal. is I think, stylish. Like, telephone, all kinds of yeah, things. That's a, yeah, that's a, right. Yeah, for, uh, probably. <laughs> um, so guilty. Next up, shiplap. Uh, Joanna, guilty. <laughs> now, here's the thing that. I'm sorry, is she here? I'm scared now. <laughs> here's I'm what sorry, I, Joanna, don't kill me. I don't, here's what I don't understand. Where does something like, why does all of a sudden people are like, you know what my house should be? A boat. Well, because I think originally it was created because it, it's easy to install. And instead of like older houses had like plaster walls and they were hard to replace. So they just covered them in wood. But then somehow it became a design choice and a overly used one. And it's guilty. Yeah, it's guilty. Uh, Avant basic home goods like the now ubiquitous corn stool. Is, so my options are guilty or innocent? Yes. Innocent. I love sitting on a 
corn cob. I'm so glad you said that. I'm so glad. <laughs> right, you're, you're, <laughs> He's like, me too. Wait. <laughs> no, but you know what? You know what? I would say this. I would say this. When you're sitting on a corn cob, it can go a couple different ways. You're right, it can. <laughs> sometimes you're sitting on a corn cob and you're like, this works. But sometimes you're like, I, I don't feel more safe. Butter. <laughs> I don't feel safe. <laughs> yeah. That's right. That's right. Innocent. 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 Not really, but innocent. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, tubs in bedrooms. No. And on a parquet wood floor, can you imagine if she got wet? <laughs> It'd be ruined. That I just want And for whoever people, lives in that room, she's not worried about the floor, so it's ruined. I also would say that, that, that this is a photo of a four, what is it called, with the four posts? Four poster bed, yeah, yeah. And a bay window and two, two tubs. bathtubs. This oh, I is, thought that was a swirly chair on the left, but no, that's two tubs. I think it's two side-by-side -side tubs I, like know, a Cialis commercial. I, that's what I was thinking. And I just, I feel like it's some of those, like you see those Instagram posts where there's like toilets right next to each other, like couple toilets. And first of all, like, ew. Second of all, I'm like, take a bath to together, not in a bathtub next to each other. That's weird. It's, I, I hate it when I go to a hotel and like the bathtub is in the room and I'm like, that's a design choice and a bad one. So guilty. Yeah. I don't like it. Yeah, let's. Yeah. Hey, you know what's great? A wall between where you sleep and where you shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I Just agree. Just a little rule that I have. A door. Uh, next up, painting red brick homes white. Innocent. <sighs> Gasp. I, I do. I like it. Okay. I, yeah, I do. I think it's a fresh way to make a home look more modern. Because but, like we're oh, and and I'm, if it's a historic brick, I'm a little less like the one that got thrown at Stonewall. Yes, just like that one. Don't paint that one white. Don't paint that one no, white. No, don't whitewash that. The, gay, the white gays already think they did Stonewall, but it wasn't the white gays. Um, so the white... The yes. <laughs> yeah, yes. And that's so important. So like a, an, like an 80s or 90s brick house, paint her. Paint her. But see, here's the thing. Here's my question for you. Sure, why not? That's just one day. The brick has been been moving through time but once you paint Since the brick, the 80s? Well, even before, I'm just saying for decades, there's been, that's a bit of a brick place. You're going to paint it. Uh -huh. But once you've painted it, you can't unpaint it. it yeah, can't you go, can. You can go back? Yeah, yeah you can just uh, sandblast it. You just got to sandblast it. Yeah, you just sandblast it. <laughs> you just got to sandblast it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You take the corn cob. And you take the, yeah, you, yeah, that's. <laughs> uh, something called Granny Chic. Grand, oh, Granny Chic. Mm, I don't know if that... Like, not Coastal Grandma, Granny Chic. Granny Chic. Um, I don't hate it. I, I, hate I it think either. that's a personal design choice, and I'm all for personal design choices. So if you love that, <laughs> great. I like it. <laughs> yeah? I'm for Granny I, Chic. That do, doesn't surprise me, actually. Thank you. You know that we brought this from my home, my actual home, the, <laughs> the, the Michelangelo's David with an ice cream cone on his face. It reminds me of like the corn cob art. Yes, that's yeah. that also is a photo of my home. <laughs> well, uh, I liked your home. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> next up, open floor plans. Um, I think they're fine. I prefer a little privacy. Um, I've lived in like lofts in downtown LA with like open floor plans, and it's not for me, but I, I think it's for someone. And we think it's for someone. Yeah. Everything is for someone. Um, but I mean, that space is beautiful. So, oh, I'm supposed to say guilty or innocent. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> barn doors. Um, if it's a barn door on a bathroom, can we cuss on here? Yeah. Yeah, fuck you. Why would you do that? Like, there, it doesn't muffle sound. It doesn't prevent smells no. from seeping out. Like, what was the point of it? Like, you can hear everything. Like it's not like was there they the the pocket door they already cracked the code on the door when you don't have enough room for the door you do the pocket door well pocket doors actually take up more space but no, but not for opening and closing not for opening and closing no but right, in the right, walls right, right. Yeah, in the yeah, walls yeah, yeah. in the walls yeah, yeah, yeah. fucking barn doors yeah what do you they, think yeah, yeah you're not I mean, in a barn you know what for a closet maybe eh, whatever but I don't yeah I think they're just so many times people put them on a bathroom and I'm like you didn't think this through. <laughs> You didn't think it through when you're sitting there with explosive diarrhea and your spouse is laying in the bed listening to it and smelling it. And your spouse is like, it's, this is Atlanta to yeah. Barcelona all over again. Yeah. 
<laughs> yes. Yeah. Or or not even your spouse. Just like a hookup. You didn't think it through. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's no good. Yeah. Yeah. The horse has left the barn door. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know what that means. <laughs> but, <laughs> I'm like, I yeah. know what you mean, but actually, I no, don't. I don't think it. I don't know. I don't know what it could have meant. Wait. Question. Why are they making everything into, uh, if you go, it's like, do uh, well, you see there's the farmhouses. They're making everything look like pretend you know, like farmhouses. that little meme when the little kid's like, <laughs> <laughs> Again, absolutely, absolutely destroyed today. It's so cute. It's fine. It's fine. But farm, well, this, uh, why are they making everything farm? Farmhouses. What happened? Joanna! Yeah! It's just a trend yeah. from them. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. And a controversial. And again, oh. It's it's fine. It's fine. If farmhouse is your thing, it's your thing. Um, but yeah, I think it's a little. I'm done with it. We're done with it. Yeah, I'm done with it. I'm so sick of seeing these farmhouse McMansions in L.A. where it's they tore down these cute little craftsmen or homes with personality, and they just put up these massive modern farmhouses and i'm like that doesn't look like a farmhouse yeah. anymore no one thinks there's a fucking sheep in there yeah i mean there might be but yeah. <laughs> there's a <laughs> there's just a producer in there everyone knows that what's being which is what's being milked in there is a producer a sheep. <laughs> yeah it's sometimes just a sheep <laughs> final one too many house plants never enough <gasps> yeah because it makes the air nice it makes the air nice it releases endorphins it just it there's a whole chapter in my book about plants and what they do for your mental health and your well-being. And just also, they look great. We love plants. We love plants. Innocent. And show people the book. It's called Right at Home, How Good Design is Good. Nice. The mind. For the mind. <laughs> I was like, wait, that doesn't sound right. How good, <laughs> How good design is good. <laughs> and it's Although out. that's a cute title, too. It's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I thought I was like, oh, that's cool. I thought it was different earlier. Uh, it's out on September 12th. Easy to remember because the day after a day you'll never forget. No. <laughs> John and I, Brian sneaks things into the cards. Don't forget to buy the book. It's like Weekend Update.